Hello, everyone, and welcome to Charlotte and Zeke play Exit the Gungeon. What? We've entered the Gungeon before. Ooh. Ooh. Throughout the galaxy, a legend was told. On a distant planet, a grim fortress stood. Oh, this volume. The Gungeon. Excuse me, I'm messing with our volume setting. It was said to have held an artifact of impossible power. A gun that could kill the past. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> oh, get it away from me. <laughs> Chill, dude. Yeah. Most who sought the gun perished. Others languished for eternity in the Gungeon's halls. Play table first. You gotta do something, Precious few, however, achieved their aims and took their shot. But in doing so, wounded time itself. Cool. Sweet. Thanks, bro. As the Gungeon becomes paradox and begins to shatter, the last of the Gungeoneers must. I think I know what's coming. Oh no, the bullet kid. Hey! hey. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, this just came out last night. I had no idea it was coming out until a friend linked it to me. And I bought it for 26p because I had those Nintendo Gold points expiring. Whoop, here we are. Hail. Only the bravest and most resourceful make it this far, dear Gungeoneer. Be proud to count yourself among them. However, it seems that fate is not on your side. Shot by shot, each who fired the gun weakened the magic that held these walls together. I have done a lot of runs and enter the gun. Yeah. You, you messed everything up, Zeke. Well done. Given your likely future, your past need no longer concern you. To survive, you must make a daring escape. What I'm trying to say is, you must exit the Gungeon. Mmm, it's the name of the game! You don't have time to go back the way you came. I'll aid you as best I know how, by blessing your weapon as you make your way up. I thought it was her, yeah. Before you attempt to escape, you should speak to Sir Manuel. He claims to have mastered the ways of the Gungeon and will clearly help, oh, will certainly help you if you ask him to do so. He's right, right over there. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Whoa, you got to jump. Oh, nice. Ah. It's all the peeps. This rules. How do I talk to you? Hey, oh. Well, here we are. Let me guess. You tried to change your past and jeopardize the future. A tale as old as time. Travel. <laughs> <laughs> funny. Well, how low can I go? This low? Oh, pretty low. So yeah, I've not played this. I didn't. I don't really know anything about it. Hello, Sir Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what do you want? Oh, hello again. Shouldn't you be gone? This place is unstable, you know. See? Unstable. Yes, we see. She sent you over here, didn't she? Um, you need a refresher on how to master the Gungeon? From I, Sir Manuel. Ooh. Ooh character art. I, I don't know how to play yet. I know how to play Enter the Gungeon, so let's do a tutorial. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> let's do this thing. Let's adjourn to the Halls of Knowledge. Hooray! Yay. Wee! <laughs> Transition. <laughs> I'm here now. Goodbye. Wayward Soul, approach me and press Y to speak. Hello. Very good. Excellent interacting. Thank you. Practiced. Welcome to the Halls of Knowledge. Here, don the hat of the pupil. Oh, it's an actual hat, not cardboard cut out like everything else. Due to the carelessness of regretful souls, one ton one tonly firing a weapon that rips through time and space, the gungeon is crumbling. To reach the exit in time, you must ascend <laughs> via the Tinker's network of makeshift elevators. 
I've instructed my assistant to set dress the halls of knowledge to approximate what your environment will be as you race to the top. First and most important, the first and most important thing to master is the dodge roll. Observe my assistant. <laughs> Hooey! My hat flies. Oh yay! That's enough. Oh. Because your dodge rolling skills are so excellent. There's one other thing I'd like you to try. Legends tell of an ancient gungeoneer who ascended when he dodge rolled. It is referring. It is referred to as the ascending dodge roll. So a jump. The scriptures say that to perform this fabled technique, you must press the B button. This is an immense <laughs> discovery. Please do it again, but this time try to go as high as you can. We. Dear Caliber, the height! <laughs> You've mounted that precipice. But how will you get down? That thing you did there. It was some kind of descending dodge roll. Wow! Surely I must be the first to have discovered this powerful tech. I was doing it outside. <laughs> no, no, he discovered it. You, you copied him. Now that you're well versed in all three types of dodge rolls, we can put them to use. When you dodge roll, you're invulnerable until you hit the ground. Means you can dodge roll through bullets, and in the gungeon, bullets will be flying everywhere. On my command, the walls will begin to fire bullets. To survive, you must time your dodge roll so that the bullets pass through you while you're in the air. As long as you're in the air, you're invulnerable. The easiest way to time it is to roll towards the bullets, not away from them. It can be counterintuitive, I know. I assure you, however, this is a battle-tested technique. Whee! Whoops. Oh, you've been hit. Don't worry, the bullets in the Hall of Knowledge are non-lethal. In the gungeon, however, you can only take a few hits before you're dead. I pressed jump instead of dodge roll was my oh, problem. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, Mr. Expert Z, get it wrong. Yeah, well, I, I pressed this instead of that. Oop. Yeah. Come on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to descend dodge roll through this one. Ooh. Hell yeah. Now I'm going to change it up. The bullets will come from above, so use an ascending dodge roll just before you'd be hit. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now use the ascending dodge roll to mount the platform again. This time the bullets will come from below, so do a descending one. Come on. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward tutorial. Pretty straightforward tutorial. Whoa, those are slow. Pretty straightforward tutorial, but... Hey, you did okay on that pattern. Do you want to try it again? I'm good. Nearly there. In nearly every case, a well-timed dodge roll will keep you healthy. In the gungeon, there are a lot of bullets. And You've bullets, said. like life, come at you fast. <laughs> Sometimes it can be overwhelming, and there's no obvious way to dodge roll to avoid damage. You must master the use of the blank. Bullets on the screen sent to another plane of existence, raced. Blanks are very powerful. Pick up the blank. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Some commonly handled items, like blanks, are sticky and will stick to you when you step on them. Okay. Okay, I just, I just mean you'll pick it up. Yeah. Oh. I do blank to erase them. To use a blank... Oh, they've changed the blank button. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be weird for me. You did it! Wow! Remember, <laughs> blanks are a one-time use, so don't rely on them. Now, for the moment, you have been... Oh, now for the moment you've been waiting for. Weapons training. Gun shoots. Oh. The best defense, other than an excellent defense, is a good source of offense. So kill enemies quickly. To shoot, you'll need a gun. I rented your favorite gun. Oh, this is going to be a starting gun from the other game, yeah? Oh, no, it's the pea <laughs> shooter. <laughs> Baby's first gun. You're armed and mildly dangerous, Seek. <laughs> <laughs> Exit the gungeon, the sorceress will bless your weapon. A blessed weapon will change its form and effectiveness every few seconds. Okay. Calibre is a mysterious deity that rewards skillful gunplay and artful dodging. Displaying prowess in combat will surely curry flavour with Calibre, who may reward you with increased firepower. The higher you combo, the more likely your gun will take the form of something powerful. Mm. Do not worry for their safety. True gun dead will show you no mercy. Okay. Yep. Ow. Shoot it. Shoot it, Zeke. Shoot it, Oh, then. I don't have an aiming sight. How do I shoot? The shoot button's different. 
Are, are you winning? The shoot button's different. Ooh. Ooh. Options are strange. Oops, I want to see if I can change that a little bit. AV, game. Game, maybe game. Aim assist. Controls. Shoot. shoot, I want shoot to be ZR. That is what you used to. That's so much better. You have the mind of a killer. Truly, you are without conscience. <laughs> now remember, don't even think about shooting me. Shoot. Shooting me is pointless, as I'm a ghost and your bullets fear me. <laughs> okay. I like the idea that bullets are scared of ghosts. Where do we go now? Do we just leave? I just keep going up. Go. Oh. Far more dangerous than what you saw from my assistant. It'd be abandoning my duties as mentor if I did not pay you for the dun. For the dangers ahead. So you want now you must now, once again, face me in single combat. Show no mercy, as none shall be given. I will allow your bullets to hit me just for this exercise. Prepare yourself. It makes such a weird noise. The pea part yeah. gun. Yay. You did it, and then you took his money. Ah, the student has become competent. <laughs> you are untouchable. Here, don the hat of the initiate. Okay, I have nothing okay. more to teach you. Passing my test is a great achievement. Ooh. That's it, we're done here. You want to continue to practice, use this machine to spawn real good Ted one at a time. I'll be back in the end of Breach. Use the door to get back. Toodles! Toodles! Yeah, I don't need to practice anymore. However, it is strange. Oh, there's a dodge roll there and there's a jump here. Right, I'm just working out buttons. Yeah, there's alternate schemes. Uh, how do I? Up. Ah, there we go. Why? Okay, we've done the tutorial. Yep. I, I think that I would have got most of that just from having played the original Gungeon. Yeah, it just seemed like they were making sure you knew it was, like, platformy 2D. Yeah, oh, well, it was worth knowing, because, you know, I, I don't know all of the all of the mechanics yet. Yeah, all the stuffs. Now, I, was, I wasn't sure if we'd have a co-op character or not. It doesn't seem like we do. Yeah. Gungeonie, you've turned from Sir Manuel's tutelage. You are now ready to exit the gungeon. Wah hey Whee! <laughs> So it sounds like our gun changes, depending on how well we play. Yeah. Oh. Hello, buddy. Gungeoneer. By the power of Calibre, the great and terrible, a noble patron of this chamber and the next, who rifles the void itself and parts the curtain, I bless your weapon. Ooh. Sparkles. It should change every few seconds. Calibre bestows power to those who deserve it. The prowess you displayed in combat may determine the effectiveness of your weapon. Good luck! Thanks, Boo. Oh, this is strange. Mm. I do miss having a crosshair, it's gotta be said. Wind up gun! <laughs> Pretty neat though. Whoa. This is strange. So it's less like the first gungeon where like you had to explore and resource manage. And more just like a free for all shoot em up. It's almost like a gungeon mini game. Oh you got the guitar. Okay. Okay. It's interesting, because I've just noticed I don't seem to have ammo. Oh, so you can just go crazy. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Ooh, regular shotgun, okay. Achoo! I'm just like, you can't touch me, I'm happy. 
Two D <laughs> Gungeon is strange. Come. I am kind of hoping we unlock a co-op. I think that'd be fun. I think it would as well. What have I got now? Gun. They're all just guns. Oh yeah, I know. This one doesn't look like it's anything special. It's just shooty. Oh god, it's firing two shots at once. A pop gun? I don't know. Snowballer, I know the snowballer. That one, he's wearing a hat. Why is he wearing hats? I don't know. That one was wearing a hat too. Ooh. Why are you guys wearing hats and throwing them away? Oh god, grenade launcher. Oh, oh dear. Orgisms. Excuse me. You heard. That's a cute little bat bullet. The, the, they're all pretty cute. Yeah, but the bats didn't used to be that cute, I don't think. No, they didn't. Ooh, face melts. Oh. Ooh. Box. Open the box. There doesn't seem to be keys or anything. And that's a health upgrade. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Memento Mori. <laughs> Nice. So do I go th back through this? Guess so. Yeah, we're going up. This is interesting. Um, I think I want to swap my dodge roll and jump buttons around, because I keep yeah. doing them backwards. Oh. Uh. Do you know what? I'll do that right now. Yeah. Uh, controls. Oh, I guess you can't. Can I not change anything else? It doesn't seem like it. It just seems like you can change shoot. Oh. But I really want to change <laughs> it. I guess I'll get really used to it. Yeah. Elephant gun, I know this one. You've got to get good. Oh, it's supposed to be like an elephant trunk. Yeah, it's got ears as well. Oh, you know, I never know. Oh, it's flaccid. Oh, actually, I don't know the elephant gun. I was thinking of the elephant rifle. Oh. Moon scraper. Moon scraper is a classic gun. <laughs> they are a bit ghosty. Go away! Oh, it's a thing. Oh, oh I missed it. Charge oh, shot. no, it's coming back up. Oh, I guess this is a boss, big boss dude. Oh god, are you going to have to fight, like, the buzzard or whatever he was? The gabbling girl. That's the one. Probably. Got to fight someone, you know? So far you've made it to six. I don't know if that means anything. I think it means, like, what level my gun will be at. Oh, it's a Cooper. Yeah. Uh, Whoa, what are you? Oh. Buffamo, the mm. Tour de Force. Not the Tour de Force. Social distancing, my dude. Whoa, okay. Big iron. Oh, he's firing milk bottles. Oh. They explode into strawberry milk. It's incredible. Ooh. Oh, careful rocks. How deep you got this? Bullets. Blast helmet. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. You failed to exit the gungeon, Zeke. Oh. There's all the guns you had in your corpse inventory. Oh, that's good. Let's return to the breach real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the icon for it on the Switch. They're expecting you to die a lot then. <laughs> oh, not capture taken. See, there it is. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, hey, you're new. Hey there, pilot. You remember me? I'm Taylor, the Tinker. <laughs> I make the elevators. This place isn't going to last long. 
Save time getting out of here. I constructed a network of elevators to help you exit the dungeon as fast as possible. Because the system has to work in tandem with all of you, I've designed a route out of the dungeon specifically tailored to each Gungeoneer. That means each Gungeoneer is going to take a different route with different elevators along the way. There may be some overlap. Specifically, the first elevator is the same for all of you, but most of the rest will be different. Okay. I mentioned earlier, I've been here a long time to think it's all going away, that you're leaving. It's tough to think about. All this, all this work soon won't exist. Was it worth it? Can't say. Mate, why don't you leave so you don't die? <laughs> I don't know. I wonder what all this stuff's gonna be. Well, it's, it's all gonna unlock, isn't it? Are you stuck? I can't seem to get out. Oh. oh. Okay, I guess there's stuff over there. It's just a thing I couldn't see. All right. Hey, I was wondering if we could chat sometime. If we could chat, Sam. Oh, what? <laughs> sure, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's great. Do you give us five stars? <laughs> okay, let's try a different character then. Alright. I always liked Dog Lady. Thank you. Where's your doggo? He'll be around. You're back. How was your first attempt to exit the dungeon? I think I died. <laughs> yeah, you'll have that. Fix the manual teachings and you'll make it, actually. Okay. Well, let's go again, right? Yeah, why not? Hey, B. I'm not really seeing a co-op. Or... The oh, dog has a jetpack. Jetpack jet dog! Yes. Now, this is, I'm, I'm talking about it a lot, right? Mm. It's really hard for me to adjust to having to dodge roll with this certain button. Because I have dodge rolled my whole life in Gungeon with the button that is now the jump button. Ah. Which I guess is it's still an ascending dodge roll. Yeah. Oh, the shower's a good one. You'll get used to it. You'll just... Yeah, but then I'll go back to playing regular Gungeon. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to adjust again. You can't get good. Oh, but I don't want to. Not with efforts. I don't want to practice and use time. Ooh, what's this? Spiderweb. No, no, it's just a big rifle. Oh, so it's just like a smoke trail. Ooh, potion of red skin. Look at them cute birds. I'm trying to kill you, but they're cute. Yeah, they're pretty cute. Okay, we've got five on our dice icon. Sweet. Look out for that, it's gonna blow up. I'm just gonna blow it up myself. Oh, grenades. Bungly? Now, in the old game, your own grenades didn't hurt you. So I can only hope and assume that's still the case. I mean, you can always find out if you want. Banana? <laughs> oh no, I don't like these bananas. Why? <laughs> they bounce around and get brown. And they explode. <laughs> that looks like a Metroid thing. Oh, oh it is. Sweet. So, do you just have to leave now? Yeah, I guess so. This is cool. Like, this is, um, you know, it, they, you know, they're very upfront about this in the store, that this is a spin-off of Enter the Gungeon, it's not like Gungeon 2 or whatever. Yeah. But I think it's neat, like... It is neat, yeah. You can really see how, like, well, they've made a whole new game out of, like, mechanics that you already know. Yeah, mechanics and characters you already know, so it's easy to adjust. All, all the same guns by the looks of it. Probably a few new ones too. Mm. But I don't know, it seems interesting having like... Because like, having your weapon change every... I thought that's a dog. Yeah, don't, don't shoot your dog. Having, um... Having guns that change every floor, or like every few seconds or whatever, that was, um, that was a mode you could, you could enable in the original dungeon. Yeah. So, you know, it does really feel like 
Ooh, I'm not going. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> so it really does feel like um, it's like a mode in Gungeon. Yeah. It, it, oh. Oh. The Meowitzer. Agnyan. What a perfect boss for the person with the dog. Okay. Oh gosh. I had to learn new boss patterns. <laughs> you get this. Whoa. <laughs> Poking the head out the bottom like, yeah. Oh yeah. gosh. I, again, I'm, I'm messing up because of dodge roll. You've got two blanks. Oh, I don't need a blank for that, I don't think. I'm just pressing the wrong dodge roll button. Oh, okay. Oh, that time I should have. No! The bosses are hard. I don't. I feel like that one was way easier than the other. I just got to fumble with the controls a little more. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess next time, like, we'll have we'll have some practice off screen. You'll come back and you'll kick ass. Do you want to do it again? We could do another one. Would you like a go before we end the episode? No. You sure? I'm sure. The controls are pretty easy. They might be easier for you because you're not as tied into retro gungeon as me. Probably. It's just. It's been it's been a while. Uh, it's I've literally never played it before. If you don't want to, I'm not going to make it. All right. But anyway, let's return to the breach, I guess. Yeah. But here. Oh, it meowed. Because <laughs> that's what killed you. Oh. Yeah, this has been Exit the Gungeon. Yeah. Um, I think we're probably going to play a little bit more of it on the channel, to be honest. Because yeah, definitely. Oh, you got a couch. It's it's fun. I was a big fan of Gungeon. We played some Gungeon on the channel, albeit not a lot. But you can check that out if Exit the Gungeon looks fun yeah. and you've never seen this before. Oh, you can dodge roll in the air. Oh, sweet. Huh, huh. That might help you learn it a bit better. Yeah, that's going to be very useful. But yeah, let us know if you enjoy and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. We. Oui.